Hi, welcome, it's Cassie. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some fake donut holes decorated for Christmas. So to make the donut holes, I'm gonna use air dry foam clay. And the one I have here is Model Light. You can use any one that you like. So we're gonna make three different ones. So you'll wanna get a piece of clay that's big enough to make three donut holes. So just condition your clay, and then we're gonna roll this into a log so we can make it into three equal donut holes. And then you can cut it if you want to. I'm just gonna tear this apart because this model light I have is so sticky. I have some new clay coming but it didn't get here in time for the video so i'm just gonna use this and it's like hot chewing gum so it's extremely sticky so cutting it's impossible but if you can cut yours cutting it works better <laughs> and now i'm just gonna roll these into balls so i can see um, if they're the same size So these two are a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna take a pinch off of each of those. And then I'll just make these more perfect, just get this shape nice. Okay, so if you let these dry overnight, it'll make it way easier for you to paint them and do all the things that we're gonna do with them. So if you can let them dry overnight, that'd be great. Um, I have some that I already dried, so I'm gonna go ahead and use those. So those are the ones that I made. And so for the color on these, um, I'm gonna use Classic Caramel. So I would normally say that you would need to do two coats of this to get these to look how you want them to look. But because we want them to look like they're baked, the streaky look kind of gives it that realistic look that we're going for. So um, I only did one coat for mine and I think it looks good. So I'm gonna put these aside to dry for a few minutes and then we'll um, move on to the next thing. I'm gonna make some little mini pretzels. Now for this, I'm gonna use Crayola air dry clay you um, can use your foam clay. Mine, that stuff is just, that Model Light that I have is terrible. So I'm gonna use something I can actually work with. <laughs> so um, foam clay will work just the same though. So I'm just gonna condition my clay and then I'm gonna roll it out into a snake. And I want this to be pretty, skinny because these need to be really small mini pretzels and I've showed how to make pretzel uh, chocolate covered pretzels in another of my videos but I figured we'd just go ahead and make make these here um, because we have to put the salt and stuff on and I just wanted to make sure you guys know how to do it Okay, so this is probably going to be way too big, but I'm going to just divide it into two pieces and then I'll just start with one end and I can always take some off if I need to. So to make the pretzel, all you do is make a loop like that and then you're going to make another loop that's the same size. So like that. And then I'll just tear that off right there. So there's the little pretzel. And we'll go ahead and make a second one because he has two antlers. So just loop it around and then loop it around. Try to make sure that this is also about the same size as the first one you made. So he's not lopsided. And so these you'll also want to let dry overnight. And then we also need to make a little carrot nose. So 
you can use whatever clay you want for this. It's not, uh, it's not gonna matter if it's foam or regular air dry clay. You could even use polymer clay if you wanted. So just a, a small piece of clay and then I'm gonna roll it out and I'm gonna press my finger down on one side more than the rest of it. And that's gonna give me the point for the carrot. And then I'm just gonna press the other end onto my surface to get it flat. And just kind of do that until you get it the shape that you want. So there's the little nose. The nose is for the snowman one, not the reindeer. And then um, we also need to make a tiny marshmallow, like a mini marshmallow. So for this, I am going to use my model modelite. Okay, so for your marshmallow, just take your piece of clay and roll it out a little bit and then press it onto your surface and just kind of keep going back and forth doing that until you get it the shape that you want. And you'll want this to be pretty small. It's going to be like the um, ball on the top of a Santa hat. So make it little. Okay, so there's the marshmallow. And now the last thing that we need to make is a scarf for the snowman. So to make the snowman scarf, we'll need a small chunk of clay and then we're gonna roll this out a little bit. And I want a little bit of length to this because this is basically going to be the base that the snowman uh, donut hole is going to sit on so I want to make sure it has enough to like wrap around and look like a scarf. So now I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm just going to flatten this out so that it's nice and thin. This is going to look like a like a sour fruit candy. So you want it pretty thin. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my clay blade. This is an eight inch clay blade. And I'm going to just make this nice and straight. So just roll the clay away so that it doesn't stick back to the big piece. And then do the same with the other side. And then just um, cut off the ends so that those are nice and straight too. Now it's probably easier if you let this dry before you paint it. And I have one that I made up ahead of time um, and let dry. So I'm gonna use that for the rest of it. And then a couple of other things, well, a few other things that you're gonna need. Um, I have videos for all of these. So um, I'm not gonna show how to make them here. I'll link to the videos for you. So this is a, peanut butter cup and then I have a Oreo just I don't have the whole Oreo it's just one side of the cookie and then I have a strawberry without the leaves on top so um, those are some components we're going to use to put this together but I have videos for all of these so I will link to those videos if you haven't seen them um, They'll show you how to make these, or you can use a strawberry that you've purchased. I'm sure you can probably purchase these um, on like Etsy or something as well. Okay, so now um, my paint is pretty well dry, so I'm, I need to coat these. 
So the first one we're going to do will be for the Santa. And so what I'm going to do with that one is just coat it in some gloss Mod Podge. And that's going to give it kind of a glazed look for that one. So for the reindeer, we're going to do some what looks like kind of a chocolatey dip on part of this. So I just need to do this kind of like little V section on the top in sugar. So I'm just going to make a V here. You could probably just coat the whole thing in sugar if you wanted to, but that's just a waste of, of your fake sugar. For the sugar, I'm going to use some white sand and I'm just going to sprinkle that over my Mod Podge. And then this one's going to go aside to dry for a little bit. The last one is the snowman. So we're going to use the Mod Podge again and coat this. And then we're going to put some baby powder on it to coat it. So I just have my shaker of baby powder and I'm just going to sprinkle it on and turn it so I can get all the sides. Now, someone had uh, mentioned in the comments of my donut video that they had problems getting the baby powder to stay on the donut. So I want to try something here today to see if that it will help with that problem. Um, mine stayed on fine, but if you're having a problem with that, then I was thinking maybe that hairspray will help to hold it on there. But the thing you want to be careful of is not to let it get, you know, you don't want this to get wet with the hairspray. So you want it to be a very light mist. If it gets wet, it's going to take away the baby powder. So that's an option for you to try if you have problems with the powder staying on. Okay, so now for this um, sour fruit candy, I want to make this red and green. So it's going to be like a watermelon sour fruit candy. So I'm using red apple from Apple Barrel. And I'm just going to make a red stripe down the middle of this on both sides. You'll have to wait for one side to dry before you do the other. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then for the green, I'm going to use Apple Barrel New Shamrock. And I'm going to go on both sides of the red line with this. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you get all the white covered. And one coat will be good enough for this. You don't need to bother with doing two coats. And see how mine, I mean, my clay was really hard to work with, so mine has a ton of imperfections, but you're not even going to be able to tell when I get finished with this. Once I put the sour part on, it like completely covers up all those blemishes. So don't worry if it's not um, perfectly rolled out and like the perfect thickness or anything. That doesn't matter. And 
And then we also need to paint our pretzels and our little nose. So for the nose, I'm gonna use Harvest Orange. This is a lot easier if you stick it in the top of your cap and just kind of move it around in there um, to coat it. Kind of holds it in place so it's not rolling all over the place. And then for the pretzels, I'm going to use Classic Caramel again. And just let those dry. So that's all the pieces that we need to these. Let's coat our um, sour candy with our sugar. So I'm going to use Mod Podge and just coat the whole thing. We'll do one side at a time. And then just use the sand again and we're going to sprinkle that on. And then just shake off the excess and then flip it over and we'll do the other side. Isn't that so cool? It looks like a real candy, right? So just let that dry for a little bit. Um, it's not wet to the touch because of the sugar, but it'll be easier to work with without messing it up if you let it dry for a few. Okay, and then for our pretzels, we need to put some salt on those. Now normally when I make big pretzels, like normal size ones, I use um, like a bath salt to make the, the salt on them. But for these, because they're so small, I'm gonna go ahead and use my sand again. But for these, I don't want them to be fully coated like the sugar look. So I'm just going to take a little bit and sprinkle it with my fingers to get a little bit on there. Okay, so we'll start with the reindeer now. So um, I have this one that I put the sugar in the V shape. So now we're going to make some chocolate dip. Well, it's not going to be chocolate necessarily. I guess more like a caramel colored dip. So this color here I have is khaki. Um, so it's this apple barrel khaki. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna use my classic caramel. And then I need some caulk. So I'm gonna start out putting some caulk. I have some of this mixed up, but um, I'm gonna mix some more to show you. So I'm gonna put some khaki color in. And then I'm gonna put some of my classic caramel. And then I'm gonna add some gloss Mod Podge. This will just give it a little bit of shininess so that it looks like a chocolatey finish. And then I'm gonna stir this all up really well with a popsicle stick. So for this one, rather than um, dipping it in this, I'm going to just um, put it on with my popsicle stick. This way I can control where it goes so that I get it in the right spots. So I'm doing the whole bottom and then around all the sugar. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit um, so that it's at least dry to the touch before I put the other stuff on. Okay, so let's work on the snowman now. So I have my little powdered sugar one. And this is going to be the snowman's hat, the Oreo, and the um, peanut butter cup. So I'm just going to glue the peanut butter cup right onto the Oreo right in the center.
for the face, I'm going to do um, black 3D fabric paint. You could use regular paint if you want to. Um, this just makes little dots pretty easily as long as it doesn't spurt out. So I'm just going to put two eyes. And then I'm just going to do some dots for the mouth. Now where the uh, where you're going to glue the nose on, I would try to take some of the powdered sugar off um, just so that it has something to stick to because if it's just sticking to the baby powder, it's not going to stick very well. So hot glue on the nose and just stick it right on there. Hmm. He's cute. Okay, now I'm going to put that aside. Make sure you sit it so that his face doesn't roll over and get messed up. So now um, we're going to make the scarf out of this sour candy. So I'm just going to twist it around like this, and I'm going to kind of, it's going to kind of be a base for this to sit on. So I want to kind of make it so that it's the right size for the snowman head. So that's about the size that I need. Okay, so I'm just going to um, hot glue this in the position that I want it. And then um, I'm going to hot glue the snowman head the snowman donut onto the scarf. So again, I'm going to kind of brush off some of the powdered sugar on the area where I'm going to hot glue just so it sticks a little better. And then I'm going to put my hot glue on the scarf. So there's how it looks so far. And then we just need to glue the little hat on top. So again, brush off some of the powdered sugar. We put all this powdered sugar on, but you want to make sure it's in the areas you need it in and not in the other areas. So I'm just putting some hot glue on my Oreo. And then I'm just going to place it on his head. So there he is. Okay, so let's do Santa now. So I have my glazed one. And so this is where we're going to use the strawberry. So we need our strawberry and our marshmallow. So I'm going to glue the strawberry right on top of his head. This is going to be his little Santa hat. And then I'm going to glue the marshmallow on top of that. Okay, so now we need to make the fuzzy part of the hat and his um, beard. Actually, I'm going to give him some eyes first and then that will give us something to work around for the rest of the details. So I'm just using Scribbles white fabric paint. And then I'm just gonna put a dot of the black fabric paint in the center. And see how it's sticking out like that? I just use a toothpick and kind of 
make it look how I want it to look. We're going to use um, spackle for the beard and the fuzzy hat and stuff. So I have some here. Um, this is spackle. Um, Fast and Final by DAP. This one I got is pretty gray, so I have it in the container and I'm just going to add some paint, white paint to it just to brighten it up some. And this is just Snow White from Apple Barrel. And then I'm just going to give that a really good mix. So for um, this, I'm going to use a mini piping tip. And I got this whole set. It has like every design you could imagine in it um, and I'll link to this if you want to get a set like this. So I'm going to use this really small closed star so that I can make it look kind of fuzzy and fluffy. And my kit came with these little reusable piping bags so I'm just going to use one of those because the tips fit in there just perfectly. And then I'm just going to load my bag up with my spackle. And then just press it down to the end of your bag. Okay, so um, I'm going to do around the hat first. Make sure not to mess up his eyes. All right, so there's the fuzz for the hat. So I'm gonna use his hat to hold on to now so I can do the rest without messing up. So I'm going to do the mustache and beard now. So I'm going to make it come down. And then I'm going to go across here. And then if you want, you can give him some hair back here. All right, now I'm gonna sit him down there. And then for his nose, I'm gonna do a little pink bead. I'll link to these beads too. I use these as sprinkles, but I thought this would be a cute little nose for him. So I'm just gonna hot glue that on. And then for his mouth, I'm gonna use this wild raspberry from Scribbles and just put it like a little dot down there below his mustache just to make him a little mouth. And then I'm gonna give him some eyebrows with my white 3D paint. I'm not crazy about this eye right here, so once the white paint dries, I'll probably go back and just touch that up with my black. It's hard to put two coats on top of each other. They kind of start mixing together, so there's a little Santa. Okay, so I ended up having to let my reindeer donut hole dry, the caulk on it dry overnight because I it, it was really humid here and it was taking a long time to dry, so... I let this dry so it's completely dry now and so we just need to decorate our little reindeer so the first thing i'm going to do for him is make his little face so i'm going to use my black 3d fabric paint and just make some little eyes for him or her So 
So I'm putting those just where the um, caulk starts, basically. And then I'll probably go in and put a little white dot in the middle of the eyes later on once this um, sets up more. It's hard to make the eyes when with this puffy paint um, if it's still wet. And then for the nose, I'm going to use one of these little beads. If you don't have beads that you can use, you could just use your puffy paint or regular paint or if you have like a tiny little pom-pom, that would work too. And then I'm gonna put some red paint underneath it just um, to make it look a little bit bigger. So that's what it would look like if you just used paint. I kind of want to give it that 3D effect, so I'm going to use the little bead here. Okay, and now we just need to attach the little pretzels that we made as his little antlers. So I'm just going to put a little dot of glue up here and then just stick the pretzel on. So I'm worried that the little nose, my little nose isn't going to stick with just the paint. So, so I'm going to put a little Mod Podge and just make sure that his little nose is going to stay on. So there he is. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this little Christmas in July tutorial that I put together. Um, I know a lot of people aren't into Christmas during the summer, but I know some of you sell things and you want to see some Christmas things. So I wanted to put out a couple of cute little Christmas tutorials for you this July. So I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.